So uh, welcome to the Group 1 booth here at USITT. We're here with the SD9T. This is new, bringing theatre software down to the popular SD9 platform. What we've done, we've taken the software features from the SD70. This is the console that runs most of the shows now in Broadway and the West End. Uh, a great feature set for programming theatre consoles. So taking that feature set, we've applied it to the SD9 chassis. 48 channel console, same processing as you get with a standard SD9, adding this, this important set of features for programming theatre shows. So let's have a quick look at what it can do. If I open up my queue list, I'm just going to add a bunch of queues. Let's put 10, 10 queues in here for this little show. Then we can fire back up to the top and just demonstrate these functions. <laughs> the point is that adjustments we make to the channels are automatically applied through our show. So if we come in down to these channels here. I'm just going to pick a channel, give it a name. Let's put my name in. My name's Dan. And uh, I'll put some EQ in, something obvious so we can see exactly what's going on. Now, having written that, as I fire up and down my queue list, you don't see anything change. This is because that change, this EQ now, is written across my show. Now, if we want to make some changes to it, we have this alias system. It allows us to control changes throughout the show. So, if I come up into here, open up my aliases panel, I'm going to actually change me so I'm wearing a hat in some of these some of these cues here. And because I'm wearing a hat, I need a different EQ. So, I'm going to, in a couple of cues here, just use my hat version of me and change my EQ. So here we are, let's put some filters in and take something out. Now we have a couple of cues that run my hat. And when I come to the cues that are my standard character, it's retained the EQ from that. These things all still automatically update across the show, but we can be very precise. This speeds up the workflow for programming. During tech rehearsals, you make the EQ for the hat version or for the costume change once, and it automatically ripples down through the show. So that's great for managing changes, but actually in the real world, we might have a situation where a character is played by multiple people. So we now have a new system where we can take a main lead person and understudies, alternate actors. Now each person is going to have a different EQ, the sound of their voice is different. So this ability to manipulate it and drop in the settings for a different person. So we can then we can have a quick look and demonstrate that if you want. If I come down here to my cue list, and bring up what we call players. These are the people playing it. Here's the Dan channel. So maybe my first person playing it is gonna be Ryan. So Ryan is playing my character. And then also, maybe we've got Bob playing my character. So let's make Bob current. When we come to the channels, we give Bob his EQ. So let's do something different to him. And that retains all of the structure with the hat, so Bob's version of the hat. And we've got this updating across the show. And then we go on another night, it's gonna be played by Ryan. And then when we come down to the channels and fire it, we get Ryan's version of those characters. So at the top of the show, you pick who's playing it, and the show is automatically updated with that person's settings. So these are really powerful tools that allow sound designers and programmers and operators to simplify their workflow for theatre programming.